The next movement is the heart hands that we're going to take around the back of the head. So we're going to start with a lunge position. You're going to take your feet quite wide apart and I'd like you to lunge from side to side with this particular movement. The heart hands is imagining that there's a 3D heart in front of you. You're going to take your hand up the center of the heart, feel around the outside of the heart and bring it down to the center point. Take it up, feel around the outside, bring it down to the center point. We're going to widen the heart as we go into a lunge and take your feet apart. We're going to take the hand <coughs> movement to each side. And then once you've got the hang of that, we're going to take it around the back of your head. So as you lunge, you're going to take it around the back of your head. Bring it down to the center point. Take it around the back of your head. The back of your head. Each side as you lunge. the heart hands, take it around the back of the head. The next movement is the Turkish hands. You're going to start off this movement by taking the one hand and brushing it along the inside of the other. Once you've got the hang of this movement, you're going to separate the hands so that they're not touching. And then when you get the hang of that, you're going to create a figure of eight with your hands. Almost as if you had a tiny heart in front of your hands, you could also work with it in that way. Making sure that the movement is no bigger than the size of your face. And you can alternate this with a slow movement. Or you can make it smaller and keep it just in front of your face and make it a little bit quicker. And those are the Turkish hands.